The planning process that we incorporated for Farmington High School started with an effort to include as many participants as we could. We reached across all nine existing high schools and brought in three or four of their top teachers from different subjects and had them come and meet with us several times and that was more valuable to us than any other thing we had done up to this time. They're born with technology that was just a dream back then and that's changed the way teachers have to deliver curriculum and the way students are expecting it to be delivered to them. It's unique in the sense that we have a very large, high achieving, comprehensive high school that is doing something so progressive and important that it really is unmatched anywhere else. And I think being able to pull elements from all of those schools and all of our site visits and precedent studies together into one package for a large, we're talking 405,000 square foot high school that can have such an innovative platform and really focus in on every single one of those 2,000 plus students. When I started 30 years ago, teachers were way ahead of us in terms of what they needed in a building and it took us a lot to catch up. I, I wanted to do more than just catch up, I wanted to lead. And one of the things that we've always loved about Davis School District is they're very forward thinking. We want to pursue a high school for the future. We particularly hate the term 21st century learning because we're already 20% into the 21st century. You're also going to see our, our open spaces. You're going to see classrooms of varying sizes that match the needs of the students rather than the needs of the teacher. There's a lot of forethought that went into the designing of this building, how it could be used. Teachers in the classroom, they're given ownership of a group of students and learning for those students, and it's their responsibility to find the right fit, whether that's going to be in a learning suite, whether that's going to be in an extra large classroom, whether that's going to be in a small intimate classroom. We need our teachers to be in the classroom that's going to be perfect for what they're trying to teach their students that day. I think that Farmington High has changed the way that I learn in a lot of ways. I think it's so flexible. I feel like I'm not stuck in rows in a classroom for an hour and a half. I have like freedom and flexibility. I can walk around. I can, there's different types of seating. There's different types of like learning. It's not just sitting in a class all day listening to a teacher with posters on the walls. It's all about students. And you know, I, I've talked to a couple of teachers and they said, instead of saying, this is my classroom, they say to the kids, this is your classroom. The way that Farmington High School has changed the way students learn and teachers teach is they are making the shift to a truly student-centered learning environment. Farmington High School is the gateway to the future of education, certainly in our district, but I believe around the world. We will have like the learning steps completely filled with students as they're talking about different subjects. And then I can look at the school and say, what part of the school would work best for that type of a lesson? The teacher offices are out along the corridor. And that serves two purposes. One is that it gives students access to teachers immediately, but it also acts as a security piece of the school where teachers have eyes on the corridors and they can see what's going on. So there's four or five teachers that can see them all the time. That's not just the big overwhelming safety issues, but that's the smaller things, bullying, negative comments, the way students are treated. Farmington is a great location along the Wasatch Front with awesome views of the Wasatch Mountains to the east and the wetlands to the west in the Great Salt Lake. The colors come from Farmington Bay, turquoise and gold. Part of it is, um, for example, the window pattern is based on ripples on the Great Salt Lake. We have a client who wants great sustainable design. We have built three schools, elementary schools, that are completely sustainable. They produce more energy on site than they use by a lot. And so when we talked about the high school, we're like, why wouldn't we do that again? You're going to, between every single class, you'll see two to 300 kids congregated at the bottom of every one of those stairs because the kids can't get enough of each other. It's had an effect, and not just an effect on ACT scores, which I might add are the highest in the state of Utah um, after one year, but it's had an effect on just the well-being of students. And I see that every single day, and it's an awesome building that nobody can duplicate.